Hey guys, this is Coach Lance. This is the first video of Volley Volley. Here to help all you volleyball players out there improve your game, better understand the game, and how to internally take it. How so this video, I really wanted to address club volleyball and in regards to the six six things you need to consider that you have to consider before you play club volleyball one why are you playing and these six considerations are going to be addressing pretty much that umbrella question of why are you playing club volleyball okay number one are you playing because you love the game if the answer is yes which nine times out of ten it is either you love it or you're really starting to get addicted and that's where that desire and the passion comes from so the answer is yes You've got to go in consideration number two but if it's no, you really have to think about this because there's a lot of time that goes into it and effort and cost, money, okay? So let's just all pretend everyone said yes. But even if you say no, please follow through because we're going to go to number two. Number two, are you playing to improve? The answer is yes, club is for you. You're going to get the reps you need in order to take your game to the next level. Now, depending what type of club you're playing for, what position you're playing for, because some people play one position in club and another in high school, it just depends what the team needs. So. That's crazy because that's a whole nother video. Like, I have so much knowledge to help you guys. And I just want you guys to succeed and have the best volleyball career you can have. So, even if you're not trying to improve your game, you can still play club. Like, none of these are, like, end-all, be-all. Like, Coach Lance said, well, if you don't love it, you can't play. No. That's not how that works. This is for you and your family to consider because all the club players out there know that it's a family project. Driving to tournaments, yada, yada, yada. I'll, another video again. There's so much. Just wait. Just wait. Number three. Do you have anyone else or any other friends? Do you know anyone else? Or having any of, any of their friends playing club volleyball? So if the answer is yes, you should try and play with them, especially high school teammates. Build the chemistry, build the camaraderie. That's only going to help your high school team too, okay? If the answer is no, the good news is that I've met so many friends, so many people through club volleyball and through volleyball in general, in college, all, all of it. So don't be afraid to meet new friends because volleyball is the easiest way to do it. And to this day, you can still do it. Like I've been playing volleyball for 15, yeah, well, 16 years now. And each year I'll meet new friends through it, either through coaching or playing, all right? So, even if you want to meet new people, consider that. Volleyball, playing club volleyball, you're going to meet new people. All right. Number four, this is massive. So as three, four, five, six, so it's getting spicier. Number four, what is the club's reputation? So you know in your town, your city, even in your state, you have multiple club programs. And every single one has a little bit of this or a little bit of that to offer. But every single one comes with that, you know what, the price tag. Some definitely deliver. Some 
are overpriced for the coaching you're getting. In others, it's a heck of a deal. You're getting quality volleyball, amazing coaching, and the experience that's going to make you improve. Okay? So, ah. Uh, so, segueing to number five. Number five. What level of coaching are you receiving? What's that mean? So, if I'm a libero and my club coach is going to be a middle and he's only ever, he or she has only ever played middle, maybe I want to lean towards another club or team, maybe within that same organization that has that player or or sorry, that coach that was a player or that coach that has um, a better understanding, a um, high level of communication of explaining that skill set because it's baby steps. Volleyball, very simple. Bump, set, spike. Very technologically advanced. You have back row hits, front row hits, slides, quick tempo, you have certain serve receive rotations where you're hiding people. So what do you want? You can't go into club going, oh yeah, I made the team, let's play. That is a recipe for not disaster because you there's you're still getting reps. So you're fine tuning your craft but maybe you're not being efficient at all, or maybe you have a bad coach, or maybe you have a great coach, but a yucky team, which that, that kind of correlates with the friends. Like volleyball is very clicky. I love the sport, but some people love just playing with one another. You'll see it at any age you play at. So I'm not, once again, another video. So what level of coaching you receive? For me, if I'm an outside, I want an outside hitter, like a, a, an old college outside hitter, preferably played D1, but if not D3. Some, there are some incredible athletes that didn't even play Division One, Two, II, or Three. They went and played club somewhere and had a successful, just a career, but they didn't want to play varsity because I can tell you firsthand, it sucks your life away and it's give and take, give and take, especially at the college level. And your time is the only thing you have a limited amount of supply, I'm technically money, but let's relax people, okay? So number six, the most important, most important, I'm about to grab that whistle back there and start blowing on it because throwing the timeout, most important, number six thing that you should consider if you're going to play club is do you want to play in college? If you want to play in college, if you want to play, if you want to play in college, it is extremely difficult to not play club and play in college, air quotes, at a high level. There are so many programs now that you can still play, but that is, I'm making a whole video of how you can play in college without playing club volleyball, or sorry, how you can play in college without playing club volleyball in general, and like, or playing in college without high school volleyball, there are so many nuances and I have a ton of friends who coach collegially and like the insight I have for you guys is like game changing. So first video, if you guys like the content, please subscribe, hit the bell notification to see more videos. Of course, hit the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs, two thumbs up, right? It's almost like a redo. Redo, watch the video again, watch all six, hit the comments, ask me questions. I'm gonna to respond to everybody. I'm gonna give you the best insight I can.
If you give me bad details, oh, I play volleyball. What should I do? I'm very limited in that response. So once again, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this at least helps one person out there because I was that little 12 year old who was scared to play cup volleyball and wish he had someone who had the experience and the knowledge. So guys, have a great day. See ya.